Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's look, I think I've mentioned before one of my favourite colours to play with on the eyes is like blues and greens. I absolutely love them. Um, blue, matte blues can be quite hard to make, but when they're right, they look really cool on the eyes. Um, so I'm going to be playing with this palette today. This is the Colourpop Blue Moon palette. And also one of my favourite styles of kind of eye looks to do is halo eyes. I really like halo eyes. So I thought, well, let's combine the two. Do some blue eye eyeshadow with and create a halo eye with it. Um, I know I've done a blue look kind of recently as well, um, which is more of an eyeliner look, but like I said, I just really like playing with blues. So if you're interested, then please keep watching. Okay, so first of all, I'm taking the shade Starry Eyed, and this is going to be my transition shade. I'm taking a nice fluffy brush, so it's going to help with the blending. It's actually quite a soft pigmented colour I found with this one. It could be the fluffy brush I'm using, but I thought I had to build up a little bit. However, it does blend really nicely and it's a really um, kind of different blue shade and not really one I have in my collection. And yeah, I really, really like the shade. Okay, then I'm going to take the shade Fine China next. And I'm going to build this up into the crease. I'm using more packing emotions with this bit just to build up intensity. And I'm using a smaller brush. I believe this is like a small tapered blending brush from Luxie. And yeah, I'm just packing it into the crease just to build up that intensity that I want. And then going back in with a fluffy brush and a bit more of starry eyed just to help blend that out. Okay, next I'm on to the shade Clued In, which is dark blue shade. Um, it wasn't as dark as I thought it was going to be, but it does work perfectly for the look I was going for. So I'm taking on the same brush as I did with Fine China, and I'm putting this on the outer and inner corner. So this is where I'm starting to create my halo effect on the eyes. And I'm just packing this on. And I do take, I don't take any more product, but I do just go into the crease just to blend it across a little bit. And then I take the fluffy brush just to make sure it is thoroughly blended again. So you can see you've got that gap in the middle ready for the spotlight effect. Then just to deepen up a bit further, but also to add a bit of shimmer to the lid, I'm taking Mad About You and popping it kind of on top of Clued In. Just because I wanted the kind of whole lid to be have a shimmer feel to it. And it just just gives the kind of outer and inner portions a bit more dimension as well. And again making sure everything is blended. Then for the spotlight bit I'm using Billie Jean which is a beautiful shade and one that works perfectly with the finger. It's so reflective and just looks really beautiful. So yeah I'm popping this in the gap in the centre of the lid with my finger first. And then I'm just taking a brush just to soften the edges and make more of a blend, it did look. I just go back in a bit more Billie Jean and just really intensify the kind of more centre portion of the eye. Okay, then I'm taking a mixture of the matte blues I use in the crease. So I believe I've gone in with Fine China first. And just running this along the lower lash line. I decided not to recreate the halo look on the lower lash line. I wanted to keep it quite simple on the lower lash line. I'm then taking in some starry eye to blend that shade out. And then I do believe I picked up a bit of clued in just to deepen ever so slightly the outer portion of the lower lash line. And again, just make sure everything's blended. And then I do take some more of Billie Jean and I use this for my inner corner highlight. Okay, then I went with this ColourPop um, cream gel liner in, I think it's DTLA. Um, and it's a dark blue shade, but it, I had some issues with it, as you can see. It didn't really want to take to my outer portion of my uh, waterline for some reason. The inner portion, not a problem, but my outer portion, it just wouldn't stick for some reason. Um, I then went in with my Kiko Ever Extra Sculpt Volumizing Mascara to coat my upper and lower lashes. A 
but I'm really happy with how this eye look has turned out. I think, like I said, these eyeshadows blend beautifully together, but I always find that with ColourPop anyway. Oh, and then I tried to see if I can fix the waterline, but I just couldn't. For the lips, I wanted to go for a really pale lip, as I think it suits eye perfectly, so I just took my foundation brush to go over my lips again. And then for my favourite kind of new glossy lip, I went with the Lily Lolo Lip Gloss Inks. And yeah, and that is this look complete. So I really love how it turned out. They're actually really blendable eyeshadows, in all fairness. Like, the blues blend really nicely into each other. Um, I was going to go full out and go with blue mascara as well, but I thought that it would just be too much blue. And I just thought black mascara is probably the best way to go. But obviously the dark blue eyeliner in the waterline works really well. The only thing is, right now, I'm having this, it's just not, the only issue I'm having is this eye liner, for some reason, I don't, it's because my eyes are starting to water, the outer portion isn't, it just doesn't want to like draw on there, if that makes sense, the inner part, not a problem, but when it gets this bit, I keep going over it, and it just doesn't want to take some reason anyway yeah this is the finished look i really hope you enjoyed it um i promise the next one will be a slightly more kind of wearable look i know i've done a few colorful looks recently but it is just a lot of fun for me um but yeah the next look will be a much more wearable look um but, yeah, but like i said blues is one of my favorite eyeshadows to go for which is really why i wanted to do this look so yes yeah, so i hope you enjoyed this video leave any requests for future videos down below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video